Good afternoon from Heraklion Crete. Today is the last day on the island for Nelly and I. It is also the last day of September, which is conveniently the last day of the third quarter of 2018. Seems like the perfect opportunity to start a new segment on the vlog called My Quarterly Income. Let's go. channel we don't talk in too much detail about income and I think that that should change. I know a lot of the people who watch the vlogs are genuinely interested in how much I make as a professional travel videographer so I think this is a good opportunity to dive into that especially given that it is the end of the third quarter and every three months I accumulate all of the sales that I've made and all of the different jobs and send them to my accountant back in Germany so because I'm tallying it all up anyway it makes sense to make a video about it and uh, four videos a year every three months I'll try and do a my quarter of the income to share with you how the business is evolving and changing and uh, how much money I'm making. So I'm going to give you a bit of a spoiler. It's not very much. I don't make a ton of money, but it's uh, going to be fun at least to show you uh, the beginning of this business and how uh, that is where we're at right now. So let's jump into it. So let's start with July. In the month of July, Nelly and I only had one job. It was in Berlin. It was a photography and video assignment for a hotel. It was about five days and uh, not too big, but at the same time, like really nice filler in between traveling. We were coming from sort of North Germany at the end of uh, June and then moving on to Georgia. And we actually flew to Georgia from Berlin. So it worked out really well to have that one hotel assignment in Berlin. Uh, and then we flew to Georgia to meet Brendan and Jody where we traveled for the next three weeks. And Georgia was not an assignment. I was not getting paid to be in Georgia we were traveling with Brendan and Jody, creating content for this channel. Um, it was an amazing, amazing trip. And part of, I think, being a travel uh, photographer and videographer is doing like your own passion projects at the same time in between jobs. If we've got some free time, why not use that to travel? So for uh, July, we had the one job with the hotel in Berlin and then three weeks of our own personal travels in Georgia. The month of August was a lot busier and a lot more hectic work-wise. We flew from Georgia back to Germany and started uh, two campaigns, one with a municipal tourism board and one with a state tourism board. And we were on assignment with those two clients for three weeks, creating a ton of content for them as well as for our own channels. And that was an amazing campaign. Those are the types of assignments that I love getting. And if I could have one of those every three months, that would just like make uh, a huge, a good step forward, I guess, for my business. So that was really cool, a good experience, and uh, something that we're gonna look back on uh, next year and hopefully be able to utilize uh, as a case study to try and get more work similar to that. So yeah, that was super fun. Now, the last week of August, we were in transition again, traveling from one place to another. And as you know, we don't have a home, so we're always sort of looking to fill the gaps in between jobs. So that last week of August, we actually flew from Germany to Italy to do a one week campaign with friends of mine who I used to work with in South America. Now that was more of an exchange of services. The, uh, the actual dollar amount didn't make it into my monthly income because we didn't get paid for that. And it's not too often that Nelly and I uh, accept jobs uh, where we don't get paid. However, if the uh, client is willing to offer accommodation, transportation and uh, food and drink, then, then it's more appealing because uh, if we can cover our expenses, including travel, then we're not really spending anything, right? So we can then offer limited services in return and it's still a win-win situation. So that's essentially what we did in Italy for that one week and that was the end of August. Time to move on to September. So here we are in the month of September. Nelly and I flew to uh, Heraklion Crete from Italy and we were here from September 1st all the way until today, the entire month, 
on assignment with Brendan Van Son, which is absolutely fantastic. Brendan hired me to come and assist him uh, for a throughout the whole month leading into the BVS uh, Crete Photography Workshop, which we just hosted from the 21st to the 24th. So my role um, assisting Brendan is sort of ever evolving, but for the last little while it has, uh, no problem, yeah, thanks. So my role with Brendan is ever evolving, but it has uh, primarily consisted of uh, shooting B-roll and sort of assisting him with the content that he needs for his vlogs. And uh, also if the uh, need is there to help with small group management and uh, make sure that everybody was uh, making, getting the most out of the workshop that they could be, uh, as well as some of the logistics and all of the uh, skills and experience I have as a tour leader, you know, bringing that into the realm of photography workshops and videography, that is just awesome I absolutely love doing stuff like that so if you haven't seen those vlogs go and check out the vlogs from the last couple weeks here on Crete leading up to the workshop and the workshop itself that should give you a really good idea of what my role is while uh, while assisting Brennan in his photography tours and workshops so that was awesome I'm, I definitely love being on assignment with Brennan is really easy to work with and it was a fantastic job for me to have uh, accommodation covered for the whole month here is incredible uh, um, and that is something that I hope will be included more in these uh, quarterly reports going forward. So my business is ever evolving, but September was a really good example of what I hope to have more of going into the future. So the moment I think you've been waiting for, the total of how much money I have made in the last three months. So in the last three months, even though we had a limited amount of work and it would be nice to have more work, there was still a lot of freedom involved and a lot of really cool travel experiences and a lot of great opportunities to make amazing videos for this channel but I still need to make money at the same time. So in total, in the last three months, I made 8,525 euros. Now that may not seem like a lot of money to most of you, but for our lifestyle, it is enough still to be able to sustain what we're doing and where we're going and uh, still even save a little bit on the side for future travel trips, which is amazing. So out of that 8,525 euros, we do have expenses. So things like income tax and accommodation, food and drink, and of course, transportation, flights, uh, any unforeseen um, expenses or new gear, you know, updates. I got this bag in the last three months. That kind of stuff takes out of the 8,525, but overall, we still have enough money to sustain this life, which is fantastic. So that is the conclusion of the first ever my quarterly income or this income report. I hope to do this every three months and to give you an idea of how my business is changing, growing, evolving. There's a car trying to pass us right now, so I will end this video here. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the vlog and we will see you on the next one.